I'm Deb Variano, and I want to talk to you today about storm prep. We're in the middle of hurricane season here in Florida, so we get all kinds of information from the news media saying you need to buy your storm kits, you need to have water and um, batteries and generators and gasoline and you know, can openers, everything that you might need to weather a storm. Well, Jesus always talked about storms too. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, he says, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man, I want to be wise, who built his house on the rock. Rain came down, the streams rose, and winds blew and beat against the house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. Jesus was all about storm preparation and preparedness. We need to consider everything that we do and what the consequences or benefits are going to be from those decisions. 2016, Hurricane Matthew came to Jacksonville. And prior to the storm coming, my next door neighbor had a tree service out here and he was cutting branches. And I asked him, why he was cutting the branches. He wasn't cutting the whole tree down, but he was trimming up the trunk. And as he cut the branches, he said that the wind would not have anything to grab hold of. He also was cutting down branches that had a lot of Spanish moss. Now, I love Spanish moss. I think it's absolutely beautiful. To me, it looks like hair just flowing in the breeze when it's blowing. But when you've got a serious blow that's come through and the, it's wet and it is, the wind is blowing through it, that wind will bring that branch down. And I'm not talking about little twigs. I'm talking about big branches, 10, 15, 20 feet long that weigh a lot and they will destroy a house. Hurricane Matthew came. The trees that had been manicured, had, had been trimmed up, they would wave a little bit in the wind because they still had the canopy. But anything that would catch it, catch the wind, or that the rain could weigh down, had been removed. So, the Spirit of God, who uses all kinds of examples in nature, if you'll just pay attention, He showed me that that's how we need to take care of our relationship with him. Remove the things that are going to be used against us in storms that come. Storms are coming. Jesus said, there are storms coming. Tribulation, however you want to call it. But do, do some maintenance in advance of the storm coming. Don't wait till the storm gets on top of you and then try to scramble around and, you know, start trim, trimming limbs because you're not going to be able to. The damage will already be done. Anything that weighs you down, anything that the enemy can wrap up in and, and pull against you, remove those elements, lies, insecurities, um, bad relationships, anything that can be used against you, be done with it. Put it aside. God will call you at that point when the storm comes and you're still standing on His foundation, you will know that you have prepared for the storm and you will be called wise because you'll be the last person standing. I hope this helps you as you prepare your storm kit. And I pray that you never minimize the magnificence of new because God is doing something new in you today. Thank you and have a blessed day.